Langdon Farms. Down here by the end of the road is our fireworks stand that we run every year. We just had the roof replaced, so we still have some mess to clean up. And this is the house. We moved in here the last part of November last year. So when my mom moves in, we are right about where this trailer is. We are going to be having a cottage put in for my mom to live in. And then back over there, you can see buildings that are for our dogs. And then our storage building, and we're gonna be having another storage building put in. And then there is a garden that we just got the fence fixed. And back there in the back, you can see the barn. This is basically the front of the house. This is Grumpy. This is the Redfoot tortoises. This one is Bruce. This one is Ivy. And this one is Selena. They're going to be getting an outdoor enclosure built soon. And then I'm probably going to revamp this whole enclosure for winter time. So it'll be better for them when it's cold outside. This is Steve. He's our bearded dragon. And he is getting ready to get a new enclosure soon. I've already ordered the enclosure and then I'm going to completely redesign it. So he has a big spacious enclosure and some better lighting and he won't oh, have so the glass. I'm gonna try to do this one in little bits probably, but this one is my uh, PP3 or Red Bloom Bird Eater. Let's see if I can slowly take this off. They are all hungry and ready to eat, so I'm going to be feeding them soon. But there she is. I think at, on her last molt, she was four and a half inches. I'd have to go back and look. This is my in Balfouri communal. There's not a whole lot to see. They have the, a fantastic web castle. But, oh, I see a butt. Maybe I can get the camera focusing. Right down in there, you can see a butt. And there's five of them in here. In here, there's not a whole lot to see, but a bucket of dirt, basically. But this one is the um, Afana Pelma Calcodes or I think it's the Arizona Blonde. I'd have, to, I'd have to look. I'm not super great on common names. Down in this one is my Nandiru uh, Chromatis. Don't know if you can see see them in there? Probably not. Oh, you can see legs. That's about it. He was out a little bit ago, but when, as soon as I move the enclosure, he bolts. And then in here, in a little teeny tiny, right there, this one, 
don't have labels on all these ones. This one's the Bee Vagons. I have two of them. This one I think is in pre molt and it's underneath the cork bark. This one right there is right there though. They're little bitty. Next up, we are going to have the T Pluma Peas. She just molted. I noticed the other, like, well, I don't think yesterday that she molted. She had been out up until that point, but there's her molt. Um, and you can see a leg down there. So she won't be eating this week. And she's really reclusive. She's probably ready to come out of here, though. And I'm going to give her a bigger enclosure because she was getting pretty big. This is basically another pile of dirt. Let's see if I can get the lid off one-handed. It is my G Polka piece. And it is also in pre-molt, so there's not really anything to see. I got it in about a week ago and two weeks ago and it immediately burrowed and basically closed itself off but you can see it just barely right in there so, so this is my aviculara metallica little itty bitty sling still this is my obt uh pyrinus i think is what it is and when I put the light on it's going to bolt around into its high because it hates the light and I'm not taking the lid off of this one because yeah oh it stayed look it it's probably getting ready to go into pre-molt again She's been growing fairly quickly. So far, she's been really good. No threat posters was easy to rehouse into this. And she tends to be pretty skittish, but she's gorgeous. These are my P. Armenia slings. They are very tiny little slings. And I actually hardly ever see them. One of them is way down in there. Which I don't see it at all right now. And then this one, the cork bark is in a better position. We might be able to see it. It's down inside that hole, which we're not going to get to see them, but they are very tiny little slings too. All right, this is my P. Muticus or King Baboon. He tends to be extremely bolty, but right now he's, or she, I don't know, is in its hide. So I'm going to try to lift this up and just do a quick little look at it. It's right there. It's still a fairly small sling. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. It's probably just over an inch. So this is Sage. He is my Chromatopelma sinopubescence or GGB. I'm going to try to get a good look at him. He is confirmed male, not mature yet. Let me see if I can pop parts of this. Maybe I can open it up a little bit. He tends to be very 
flighty, but we'll see. And he's wet heavily. There he is. See, pretty blue on his legs. He's got a green carapace that you can't really see, and then pretty orange butt. And here is my agent, or it's an I can't say that. Anisic, I can't say it. Anyway, she was out, but she kind of decided she was going to go down into her hide right as I pulled this out. Let's see. You could just barely see her booty. She is very pretty when she's out, all black and white. The dirt contains somewhere a very small a uh, cement uh, I haven't had it very long. Basically, I got him and she immediately burrowed, covered her up, and this is what I've had. Not much Another box of dirt. I'm not going to bother opening it because there's nothing to see. He does have a burrow there and another small entrance here that he's closed off. But this is my T. abapolosum. Or the Honduran curly hair. It's also fairly small, um, but they are really adorable once they get a little bit bigger and start making their presence a little bit more. Um, warm. He's down there. He was out, and then I moved, and he went down. You can barely make him out right there. I'll put this lid back on. I'm going to turn it around because he has another little part of his burrow. And he went back. But maybe with the light, we'll be able to get him to be able to see him through the burrow. I don't know. can see his butt and he's gonna come back up towards the top look at there these guys are so pretty when they get bigger I love their color so last are my two um, Lassadora Parabanas, one right there, and the other one's down right there. Those are, they're both fairly small still. Not much to look at. My tarantulas, they all are all in the bedroom. I will show you these awesome little cards tells you about them, shows you pictures of what they look like, so that's what the Lassadora Parabona will look like. Their keeper cards, I'll try to post a link to them because I've got the starter pack set and so they don't, I don't have cards for all of them, just which these are the first bit of cards. This is the made. ferret's cage, they just got a brand new cage and I need to add some more toys to it. They were out playing earlier and they're both like worn out sleeping now. But there's one right there and the other one is behind the box. I can't tell them, tell them apart. I, oh, there's the other one. So I think this one on the left, I think that one is Maybe Billy, and then this one is Timmy. Not super sure. 
they both are basically identical except for a slight color variation in their fur so it's hard to tell look at the monkeys these are black cap capuchins this one is caesar the noisy one right there is jasper they're bad because the dogs are in here and the little one bouncing around who never wants to slow down is Mojo. Come here, Momo, come here. Let's see. Jasper. Momo, right back there. And Caesar. And then why Jasper's all upset is because the dogs have been in here because they're doing some work outside. That's Piper. She's in this bulldog. And Vivi. They've made a mess in here. And Loki. Loki's eating monkey biscuits. Nobody really cares about dogs. This is my roach colony that feeds the bearded dragon and feeds um, the spiders. They are dubia roaches. They don't like the light and to be disturbed. I kind of like the dubia roaches. They kind of look way different than regular roaches. This is a look from the kitchen down to the barn. There's the pool, Allie's swimming. She's getting ready to have a trampoline put in right about between those two trees. And then right between the tree on the left and the big tree, we're gonna be doing a big play set. It's somewhere back there. I want to build a big, outdoor enclosure for the monkeys. So this is Lucifer and Lavara. Lavara, we were told was a German Shepherd, which when she was younger, she looked German Shepherd, but now she, I think she's probably got some Great Pyrenees mixed in with her. Lucifer is half um, what are you guys doing? Lucifer is half husky. Then his dad was half German Shepherd, half Red Healer. So he's got an interesting mix. This is the barn area. We've got several chickens several of our chickens are from this year so they're still young that one is still fairly young i think it's a type of um bantam There's charlotte our pot belly pig a bunch of the other chickens are all out here they're finally learning how to leave the barn and go look for bugs <clears throat> we have mainly um we have some barred rocks we have some rhode island reds and then we have bantams and then there are three ducks that are all over here which is good they're all learning how to go looking for things there's the three ducks and most of the chickens. That one is went into the other guy's yard. This is one of our male alpaca. This one is, I think he's marshmallow. Looks like he's marshmallow. 
Might be Pop-Tart. They look alike. No, no, that's Pop-Tart. See if we can get the other ones to come up here. Big llama running this way. That is Firecracker. He's a big boy. So the boys have this whole section and they can get into the barn. And then their section goes down past that fence and then it's the whole other section down there so it's a good piece of land for the boys to be on and the girls that you can see them over there have the other side of the barn so they can get up underneath the barn and they can get around here put it by the pond and then they can also go all the way up front Pop-Tart, or Firecracker, he's a good one. Spark and Marshmallow. So Spark is this dark one, and the other one's Marshmallow. They think they're gonna get fed again, although they got fed this morning already. And boys like to fight a little bit occasionally. They just got sheared last week. If I can figure out how to do it, I will post a link to the shearing video where you can see them all get sheared. Here they all, they are all together. All the boys. Firecracker's supposed to be a guard. He doesn't do a super great job of that. Pop Tart is hopefully going to be a daddy soon. We've got three girls that should be getting ready to have babies soon. But we have two barn cats, so. but the one barn cat, we hardly ever see him. But this one is Innard, or Innard, I don't know. It's from Five Nights of Freddy, my daughter named her. The other cat is Winston. We only see him once every couple weeks. Here's a look from the barn of the back of the house. We had the pool put in, there's Allie in the pool. We had the pool put in last summer. We've been here, it'll be two years in November that we've been lived here. And we had this the pool put in last summer. We only got to use it for a couple weeks. But Allie has literally been in that pool since And March. Cusco. Cusco is the other llama. He takes care of the girls. This small girl is Sugar. The black one right there is Pepper. The dark brown one is coffee. The bigger white one is flour. The white and gray is Oreo. This one right here is Bambi. That one coming up is cookie. And that one coming up is cream. They all think they're getting fed again. It's a mess from shearing. Last week, we basically leave all the excess fiber and let the birds have it. So, Sugar, Cusco, Oreo and Flour, Cookie. Cookie should be one of the ones that's going to have baby soon. Bambi, Coffee. Coffee should be another one getting ready to have a baby soon. And Cream. Cream should be getting ready to have a baby soon. So, there you go. That is basically a tour of Langdon Farms.